Our mission is to really influence people's lives um, with advanced consumer experiences. Welcome to the Harman Technology Forum 2022. Exploring now what lies ahead in the fast changing world of experiential technologies. So kicking things off for us this morning to talk more about the metaverse and its potential is preeminent metaverse strategist and technology futurist, Kathy Hackle. The metaverse. It is about virtual shared experiences that happen in virtual spaces, but also in the physical world. It is a further convergence of our physical and digital lives. It is a 3D internet that is more immersive and will be all around us. It is not one single technology, so it's not just VR, and it is not one single company. That blurry edge between physical and virtual, it's getting blurrier by the day. I personally do not seek to define the metaverse. I seek to build it. It is a new era of reinvention, and it is incredibly important to understand the magnitude of this moment. In the metaverse, we are all world builders, and now is your time to build. We have a special message from our favorite athlete. Hey everyone, this is Yancy Tukumpo. I'm having a lot of fun here, but I also want to hear about the metaverse from the experts. I think people should know that if he gave me 10 Giannis's, I wouldn't be rich, I'd lose my mind. <laughs> Web3 is about giving power back to the consumer to own their own data, and they start becoming owners. NFTs are like a hotel key room. The key doesn't have much value. What it unlocks and the ability to go to your room and, and sleep is what's important. If Giannis works with an NFT, people want access to him. It's been a way for companies, NFT brands, the metaverse, to be able to touch these athletes in ways that they normally wouldn't, and giving them access to someone who wants to be authentic with their fans. And bringing those people closer, not just emotionally, but financially, where it's a win-win proposition, that's game-changing. That's Web3, that's NFTs. The most courageous brands, I think, are the ones that really double down on innovation. And when you look at Gen Z, right, it's a very nuanced demographic. You have to move at the speed of culture. I think brands have to understand and meet Gen Z where they are. I think it's safe to say that when it comes to the world of mobility, we are in the midst of one of the most transformative periods ever. But when it comes to the idea of AR, VR, a mixed reality, and the metaverse, the question becomes, what does it all mean within the space of mobility? The car really presents that opportunity to integrate all of those things into an environment that is ripe for enhancing people's lives with enriching consumer experiences. The end consumer experience is always the number one thing. We really have a unique opportunity to transform those consumer experiences into things that really haven't been done before. Uh, the mobility is really about the whole system, the infrastructure, the cars, and then also the service along with it. I think there's great synergy between the pushes for safety, between the pushes for smart cities, and the push for sustainability by making things more energy efficient. This is the Silicon Valley way, right? We find a, a void, we start a company to fill that void, and we don't bring with us the baggage of a le legacy company. And we can bring to that whatever problem we're solving technologies that would otherwise not have been considered. The idea of starting a car company in those days was considered insane. It was hard to hire people, it was hard to persuade suppliers to supplies to us, it was hard to find investors. And what kept us going always was that we knew what we were doing was important. In selling a vision that you know, was often ahead of its time, and I think that's why we're so excited to have you here, what does it take to make a car for the future? The car companies need to rethink what is core competency and, and which pieces of this are they going to be able to build themselves or work with suppliers with or just outsource. So, for example, I think that you know, uh, Harman's innovation in the area of infrared sensing for your hands, that so you can do uh, hand motions to control the basic features of the car and keeping those simple, I think this is really good. We need to simplify and prioritize those things that have to do with actually driving. Harman is the funding partner of the Extreme Tech Challenge. We're gonna hear from the top eight startups pitching their innovations to all of you, and you collectively will vote on and determine who the winner is gonna be. Ever been on a video call, someone's about to say something really important, and then it goes, come up with a solution for that. It's called sync stage. Manual wheelchairs are versatile and a century old design, but they're difficult to use independently. That's why we created Abby, loaded with advanced features. 
Panjam addresses the pain points of music learning. I'd like to turn your attention back to the inspiring finalists. It's my great honor to announce the winner, GoGo Tech Abby. There's no doubt that the metaverse is going to change how we interact, entertain, shop, travel, and much, much more. Like Katie said, the metaverse and technologies like augmented reality and virtual reality are just an entry point into the new frontiers of experience. And this is just beginning. We're scratching the surface of the technologies that are being developed with experiences at its core. From the metaverse, we came back to the physical world of mobility. Our panel highlighted how the future of mobility is harnessing a wave of emerging technologies with a tangible impact on our lives. Harman has invested significantly in the development of highly innovative technologies that address and support the future of mobility, such as augmented and mixed reality systems. There's no doubt the automotive industry is undergoing massive transformation and the future is very exciting. Across all our businesses, we are laser focused on engineering future ready consumer experiences. This means gaining detailed consumer insights, anticipating consumers' evolving needs and exceeding their expectations through product innovation. This also means a commitment to quality and sustainability. So thank you again for joining us today. Thank you very much. <laughs>